Welcome back everyone. You may be experiencing some issues with move to iOS and basically this app just not working. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but first of all, make sure you have the app installed properly and all that stuff. And the way you can do that is obviously make sure you go through the Play Store and install it this way. If there's any updates available for this app, make sure you update to it because if you don't, you will probably run into more issues than you will realize. So that's the very first thing you should do. Make sure you're up to date and everything. Now, if that doesn't work, and let's say you're still experiencing problems, you need to understand specifically which problems are you running into. Is the wait time too long or is it just not changing the wait time? If your wait time is too long, this is totally normal because you may be coming from an iPhone that had a ton of storage. And if you're transferring a bunch of storage from one device to the other, that can take a lot of time. So regardless, it's gonna take a minute. So I would recommend just waiting it out but also make sure you're connected to the same exact Wi-Fi network. I've seen time and time again of just random situations of people just not connecting to the right network. So that's the very next thing I would recommend doing is to first of all, go into your Wi-Fi settings on your Android and on your iPhone and checking and making sure you're connected to both the same network. As long as you're connected to the same exact network, you can probably rule that being a you know problem that the network issue and as long as the network is up and it's running, that's probably the best thing to do. Now, let's say that is not the issue. Well, I've seen a lot of people actually fix move to iOS not working and also it just, you know, bugging out and not actually moving in terms of the time by turning off their data connection and then re-enabling it or just going strictly through Wi-Fi. So what you can do in this case is go to your connections. You want to go to your and it's a little bit different on each device. I don't have a SIM card here, but normally if you put your phone on airplane mode and you go ahead and you can still connect to Wi-Fi, I would recommend going through that way. Again, if you have a OnePlus device, if you have a Pixel device, it's a little bit different. So find out how you can actually turn off your data connection and then pretty much go through that way. That's actually a really easy way of actually fixing this issue. And I've seen a couple of people post about that actually fixing it too. So. If that still doesn't work, what I would recommend doing is, you know, obviously making sure your iPhone and Android are up to date. And at this point, I would recommend restarting your device. So go ahead and hop out of, you know, move to iOS. Go ahead and restart your phone. Hold down that side button. Not like that. You want to hold down both these buttons until you get into this restart option. Click restart. And then at this point, you would just have to wait until your phone to reboot back up. And then I would recommend going ahead and go back into move to iOS and then, you know, seeing if it fixed your device there. So that's pretty much how to do it. In my opinion, if you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much for you guys to get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly, everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.